We have a new game for you guys. It's called Team 3. Just got it from Amazon today and we are excited to try it out. It is a cooperative game that involves building and nonverbal language. It's a three person game and the object of the game is to create a structure that matches one of these cards, okay? So you play, each player has one role. You can be either the architect. This is not the architect. You can be either the architect. That's the architect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's the architect do? <laughs> so the architect is the one who's actually going to be looking at these cards. These cards are the plans for your structure. The architect is the one who sees it, but they cannot speak. So they cannot say how to build it, and they cannot point to any pieces. They just have to make gestures. If I want someone to put this, I might do something like this. Um, so that's the architect. Then, the interpreter. Is that what it's called? Mm, supervisor. Then the supervisor. This is the person who's going to be interpreting the architect's gestures. So if the architect does this, the supervisor might say to the builder, which is the next role, oh, use a cross piece, which is next, the builder. The builder, as you can see, has their eyes closed while building their structure. They take orders from the supervisor, and they are the ones who are actually going to be building the structure. No one else can touch the structure. Okay, thank you. So, like I said, the object of the game is to build the structure. You have different levels of structures. One star means an easy structure. Two stars means a little bit more complicated. And then three stars is even more complicated. Okay, so you see it gets quite complicated. Yeah. Now, we're gonna be trying this out in our social skills group and what we want to avoid is frustration. We wanna increase the cooperation and if we present this game and it's already very challenging, it's going to prevent the kids from wanting to try it again. So my idea would always be to figure out how to play this game in the most fun and the least frustrating way, but yeah. also make it somewhat challenging, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on, on your learners. No one likes playing a frustrating game, but no one likes playing an easy game. Exactly. Okay, so the way we modified is, first of all, we only have two players right now. So we're going to show you how you can play with just two players. We're going to play two different ways with just two different players, or two players. Okay, so now we're going to play a modified version where we are eliminating the supervisor. <laughs> yes. So... We're just going to have the architect who is able to use the nonverbal communication and the builder, but the builder is going to be able to use their eyesight. So this is an example of, it, of an easy card. So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be the architect and I'm going to be using my nonverbal communication and he's able to look. Yeah, we're right. basically combining the builder and supervisor role together yeah. to create the builder riser. Ooh, I like that. So this time, I'm going to be the builder. I'm going to close my eyes. She's going to be looking at the cards and speaking and telling me directions. Here's this one. This is a level two to give you an idea. I'm not looking. It's pretty um, hard. I think it's hard the first time, but I feel like the more you play, the easier it's going to get. I have okay. no clue. That's where so it was. hard. Okay, so as you Wait, can see, see, what? So obviously, my instructions could have been more clear, 
Yeah. But, um, you know, it's, you realize that as you're in it, it's, um, we played before and she said something like, oh, put it on top of the X or something like that. Well, I couldn't see the X, but that's good. That's exactly what you want the students to do because you want them to realize like, oh, they're not seeing what I'm seeing. Their perspective is different. So mm -hmm. the skills you're aiming for with this is perspective taking and communication, clear, com expressive communication, and also clear nonverbal communication. So this is a way you can do it in the context of the game and they won't realize that they're actually working on their communication skills.